Electric Violin Effects, how to start with. Very similar to what may happen to a guitarist. Imagine yourself you have just received your first electric violin, and you immediately imagine sounding or playing yourself like Jimi Hendrix and, well, you might be very disappointed. And that's because without effects, the sound that produces is not that Jimi Hendrix or Brian Hellington. That's because even them needed some effects to do that. You need to add effects to the sign of your electric violin. Of course, the sound of the clean violin is very important. Uh, well, in this part, the quality of your pickup makes a great difference between instruments. So the better quality you will start with, the better sound you will have at the end. You may ask then, what kind of effects can I use or add to my electric violin? And essentially, what are those called effects? Adding effects to your violin is like passing your photos through Lightroom. It will just enhance, beautify, boost or calibrate the things you have already done. But it can also improve the final sound. Of course, as you may have guessed, basic knowledge is required before starting to create effect chains or before investing on your first effects. In this video, I will try to show you and we will try to discover the main families of effects that are used on electro violins and guitars. In fact, most of these effects are actually guitar effects that can be readapted to the signal of your electric violin. Different types of effects. Effects can be classified into several major categories. In this video, we will gather them in six groups or families of effects. Noise suppression, dynamic effects, tone effects, modulation effects, saturation effects, and ambient effects. The cumulative results of each category will form a complete effects chain. Please notice that it doesn't mean that we are suggesting this order for your pedal chain. It's just a list of effects that we have gathered. Noise suppression. Before transforming your sound, you may want to clean it up. The sound that comes out from your instrument might be not the best one or perfect. Your pickup might be generating some noises or the cable or many other things around. So it's better to just clean it. Depending on the quality of your pickup, uh, you may be getting more interferences to the signal. It can be also the cable. It might be all the pollution through the electricity that is just like passing through your effects. So first of all, you can add one of these effects to reduce that sound or noise. Many multi-effects pedals have these already like integrated or you can just add it to the chain so that you can reduce whenever is needed. If you play always with the same violin at the same place or with the same gear, you may have noticed this specific noise that you want to eliminate so you can just set up or put the settings just to eliminate that signal. On the other hand, we have the gate. The gate will just, you know, close the door and won't let the noise to pass. It suppresses any audio signal below a certain sound level. So it's just like the doors are closed and you just establish how much sound needs to be passing before the gates open. So if it's like a louder sound, the gate will just like quickly open. So it's just your sign, your signal, clean signal. But if it's closed, uh, no noise will pass. Dynamic effects. With these effects, you will be able to control the dynamics, or in other words, the differences in the sound level between the different sounds that are being played. Since these effects affect the volume of the signal, they are sometimes called or well known as volume effects. They will calibrate your sounds by acting on certain frequencies and, well, you know, like to consolidate the main signal. It's essentially designed to switch it into more powerful effect ranges. The first one is the compressor. As its name suggests, it will compress the sound, lowering the sound level of the loudest sounds and increasing the sound of the weakest ones. I especially like this one if I'm playing chops or just comping.
the limiter will you establish the limit of the audio signal that you want to, to get so you prevent getting things out of control. You may want to put it at the beginning or probably at the end so it's not getting like too loud or passing you know the, the red limit of the signal. Another effect from the dynamic effects is the tremolo. It will change the volume of the input signal in an abrupt and fast way. It affects the speed and amplitude of the volume of the signal. Another one is just the volume pedal. The volume pedal is just an expression pedal and is pretty much identical to the one used for the guagua. You can put it at the beginning or probably in the middle if you don't want to get it like too loud, the things too loud, or just at the end, just to cut off the sound that you are generating. So far, those effects mainly maintain the clean sound of the violin, but the following effect categories will allow you to literally transform the sound of your electric violin. You will find yourself into a bunch of effects that will allow you to completely change the sound of your instrument. So let's see some of them. First are the tone effects. These are effects that will transform the pitch of the sound signal. They will change some of the frequencies of the input signal. The guagua or guagua pedal. This effect by means of a controller, usually an expression pedal, to filter either the low frequencies to the high frequencies in order to create an amazing effect. The signal changes as soon as the expression pedal is activated. When you press the expression pedal, you will muffle the bass and as soon as you release it, you will muffle the treble. It is one of the most popular effects among guitarists and also violinists. But the main reference or the most popular one is Jimmy Hendrix. There is also another kind of wah, which is an automated wah, the auto wah. And I think that for violins is a really nice effect because you don't need to worry when to change it. You can just like set up the parameters and the pedal will, you know, like to react to your sound. So you just need to change sometimes the your way of playing, but it gives a nice effect. So let's give you an example. <laughs> Another effect is the EQ or equalizer. It will limit, reduce, or increase the presence of some parts of the sound frequencies. It is definitely an effect that you may want to include in your effects chain for your electric violin. Equalizers can be used anywhere in the effects chain, either to prepare the sound of your clean signal to the different steps or to attenuate the transformation done in previous effects. For bass. Modulation effects. Modulation effects can transform the sound of your instrument into the sound of a completely new instrument, or just to get a sound kind of bass or kind of synthesizer, you know, whatever. There are lots of modulation effects. I will mention just four of the most commonly used. The octaver. It will allow you to modify the note you are playing by a fixed value. Uh, for example, it can modify the interval by an octave above or below. 
or even two above and two below, it depends on you. So you can end up having a double bass sound or kind of a cello sync or just put the octave above and you will have this kind of, I don't know, like this bright sound and I really like that. Chorus. The chorus will allow you to simulate several violins. Many violins like to do it, for example, to give the impression of an orchestra, or at least to have a second violin playing with you. In fact, the chorus duplicates the incoming sound into several tracks and then delays them by a few milliseconds to generate this chorus effect. You can even change the tuning of them so they don't sound the same or like just unisono so they can be like, you know, not very in tune. Harmonizer. I especially like this one. This effect will create one or two additional notes in real time based on the note that you're playing. You can establish if, it wanna, if it's gonna be like on certain key or just by a certain value, for example like a third above and a fourth below. It can be used for example to simulate the sound of an organ or even a synthesizer with your electric violin. The phaser. It is a sound effect obtained through the filtering of a certain signal by creating a series of highs and lows in the, in the frequency spectrum. The position of the highs and lows is modulated to fluctuate over time, so it gives you this impression of wave effect, so it's like... Uh, it's kind of weird. 